could you tell us what can be done, basically, to address this uh, aging Europe? We've seen that Germany has taken in more migrants. Uh, we, we see that many people are thinking of, of lengthening working life. Uh, what, what kind of measures can be taken? The solution to the aging challenge in Europe will lie in a mix of different measures. What we need, first of all, is for people to work longer. In many countries, people are still leaving the labor market at quite early ages. And as they're living longer and healthier lives, um, they will have to work longer in order to uh, pay for the pensions. That is one of the solutions to the problem. Other solutions are to mobilize all the available talent that today is not fully utilized in Europe's labor markets. One of the important areas here is more gender equality in the labor markets. We have many women in many countries not working full-time, working only part-time because they have no possibility to get childcare or because not uh, enough jobs are offered for them on a full-time basis. So mobilizing female talent in the labor market is another important answer to the aging challenge. Migration and the inflow of migrants is of course another opportunity to address the, op uh, the aging challenge. We, we have lots of people coming into Europe who have a good educational background, who can be integrated in the labor market. And what do you have to say to the argument that, you know, if people work longer, less opportunities will be created for the younger on the job market? We have heard for many years that making people work longer at older ages will take away jobs for the young. This is not supported by the evidence that we see. We have some countries, for example France, where people leave the labor market at fairly early ages in international comparison, and yet for many years we've seen high unemployment rates among the young in France. Okay. Countries that do well in the labor markets and in their economies provide jobs both for young and for older people. It is not a simple switch between jobs for the young and jobs for the old. The okay. jobs that come into the market are not um, always the same skills. So you cannot just pension off somebody and then uh, assume that the same job will be performed by a younger person. Okay. So um, our objective has to be to mobilize everybody, old people, young people, um, women, people who come from other countries, migrants, in order to have an inclusive society and have inclusive growth. It is not about switching jobs around between the young and the old. Okay, well, thank you very much for your insights. Thank you.